This video may not be appropriate for children of 13 and under. Parental discretion is advised. Hi everyone, it's Rezel Kane. I'm back with another review and today I'm doing a little bit of this uh, with these fantastic decals and this little gun. So that's pretty cool. For one of my uh, top females, Elita One. I mean, I don't mind the big guns and everything, so the new gun is just a bonus. But I really dig the uh, the decals for the windows. Uh, they're gonna really, you know, clear all that clear stuff that we have. Um, I'm looking forward to that. Uh, windows are always my uh, you know, favorite thing from Toy Hack. So, but uh, yeah, so uh, this is a good mold, uh, better than the uh, RC re remold, where I actually repaint because uh, the remold was just a little bit of shoulder, the top, and the head. Uh, from the Earthrise mold, so I'm really ha more happy with this version of Elita 1. I'm um, looking forward to what Toyax does to her. Before I do so, make sure you check out my voice acting playlist, the main feature of my channel, something I'm super proud of. And also check out DJC Collectibles, my sponsor, fantastic online store, and at the end of the video you can get your 10% discount code for anything Transformers. And now, let's roll the intro. Welcome back, Autobots. Congratulations on a mission well done. So here we are with Alita One from the Legacy line, and she's already a good color scheme, honestly. Uh, the uh, you know pink, the red, and the uh, darker red, kind of brownish. Again, everybody, I'm colorblind, so if I'm wrong, just you know laugh at me in the comments. Uh, the white, um, it. Everything just breaks out nicely, but uh, Toy Hacks will probably enhance that. But I think most of the decals are gonna maybe shine more in the out mode uh, because there's those big uh, windows. Uh, same as the uh, Studio Series 86 Ironhide, uh, the chrome blue. Um, I don't know if Toy Hacks is moving away from the uh, cell shaded one, I hope not, um, but I, I those are still uh, really good looking. Uh, you have uh, a lot of pin covers. Yeah, I love those. And I don't know what are these for, but maybe these headlights. I don't know. Lots of pink. So maybe there's gonna be stuff to break out the um, that maybe make it make her more uh, of the G1 uh, look. Because this looks like a whole waist decal and chest. I don't know. We'll see. Gonna be interesting. Uh, crotch area, I guess. No, maybe not. We'll see. I don't look at the uh, the, sh the tech specs. Well, not the tech specs, but the explanation on the toyhacks.com before uh, I I do the set. I apply them because I want to be a little surprised. This looks good. I don't see any ID cow, so that's always a bonus. And then there's that little gun, which is more. Well, I'll get it out. see all that reflection come on there you go and uh, this is a more g1 gun kind of small i'll definitely display her with it but i'll keep those two as well because i don't mind Yes, they're clear plastic and they're part of that old gimmick thing. Well, we, we sh I don't know, did anybody figure out what's the gimmick with the clear weapons? Is it something you can assemble them and make them look like a different thing? Or it's just something they threw in there for, for fun? But I don't know, this one looks really good. So there you go, final look at Alita 1 in robot mode before she gets to the paint shop. Come in, Alpha Trion. This is Alita 1. And here we are after the paint shop. And I have to say that she, that this set really impressed me. Now the guns are placed in some goofy ways. But nothing left on this. So that's always good to use everything. Uh, used all the pin covers, was able to find some uh, good spot for it. Uh, here you have some leftovers for the, uh, this uh, goes around the window. We'll see in, uh, in car mode, it's kind of at the back. Uh, well, 
this section uh, here. You can see some of the color, the pink goes there. Uh, crotch area, a little bit of uh, leftovers, and uh, well, that's it. That's all the leftovers. Uh, an extra window. I did. I peeled it off, and then I, whoops, I peeled it off, and then I kind of. I don't even know if you can. Yeah, you can tell. Like I bented it a little bit, so I just used the other one. And then uh, what's left here is something for the forearms, the mirrors, uh, one um, light for, not a light, but it's something that goes uh, inside, uh, well, this, uh, the headpiece, but the one that's on the car, uh, the fake one. And then uh, leftover headlight. And here, well, there's two, it's for the, the forehead. Uh, but one flew off and what I mean flew off I can't find this thing So maybe during this review while reviewing her. It's just gonna fall off. Who knows now the figure itself looks really good you have uh, In the back, you know some of the stuff that will translate from the car mode But the figure itself eh, let me remove the guns um, The guns are you know nothing for the guns. It's still clear plastic there's a new gun, which looks really good. It's inspired by the, the, the episode she's featured in. Uh, that's a very fair representation. So that's always a bonus to have matching weapons. Uh, but you do have a lot of decals uh, on the robot. Uh, one here, nothing for the eyes. So that's always good. Uh, you have four decals here on the abdomen to give her uh, more uh, you know, serious abs. This one here, I really like this decal. So basically from the back here, all the way around the waist, up to the crotch area. That's one decal, and then you have a matching one on the other side, looks really good. Two pink ones uh, on this, uh, on the, the, I don't know, the underpants. You have two shoulder decals here to give her more uh, target-like. You have the uh, blue chrome that matches the windows. On the forearms, you have a little decal here. Also, of course, it's reflected on the other arm at the exact same spot. A little knee decal right here. Looks really good. And then the shin. That shows a little more in uh, car mode. But that looks really good. Now, quick inspection. Did I forget anything? Sorry, I know the kibble is kind of... Well, you can place it different ways if you want to. Like this, like this. I like to bend it backwards so that it doesn't show that much. Uh, anything else? No, I think. Oh, well, yeah, that's more for car mode. Oh, pin covers. Uh, pin covers here. You have... Oh, yeah, in the back you have uh, two whites, two reds. And then, yeah, I could have used maybe two more here. Uh, there's... there. You could... Well, I tried to place one here. That didn't work. There's more pin covers here. I did use a white one here and here. Um, so yeah, I could have used a couple more pin covers uh, on this gal, but uh, yeah. Yeah. can't have everything. Well, there you go. So that's the alt mode, uh, the robot mode. Let's uh, let me show you what she looks like in uh, alt mode. I I don't know how much longer I can last. Fading fast. Now Alita in alt mode, and you know everybody was making jokes about the Simpson mobile, myself included. And I'm not seeing it anymore because it's uh, too short to be the Simpson mobile. But I mean, it's an interesting car. I like it. I mean, I wish the the foot would be the feet at the back would you know peg in something instead of just folding, because uh, they're loosey goosey. And uh, she's still a kind of a shell former, but I like her transformation better. I mean, she's she's fun to transform, and I like the look of this car. And you know, can complain. And no, it looks really good. I mean, I wish these windows. I can't really get this to clip in properly, or maybe that's supposed to be like that. But uh, always having a hard time. But I don't mind because she's mostly displayed in. Uh, God, those feats are annoying. The I'm always displaying her in robot mode anyway. But uh, looking forward to see uh, how the window decals is gonna uh, cover all this. 
because uh, that's gonna be uh, that's gonna look good instead of seeing all of the uh, robot parts. So, final look at Alita One before she goes to the paint shop. Prime and Alita One. And now that we're back from the paint shop, she looks absolutely gorgeous. I really dig the new look. Uh, same car, different uh, different windows. Uh, the blue, that's three piece uh, blue. It's kind of hard to line up and it, I could have, maybe I should have lowered it, but I wanted it to wrap up a little bit. So I don't know. And eh, live and learn. Uh, but it looks really good. The, sh the blue chrome. Uh, so basically you have a white decal here and you have this decal here You have a little decal in the inside here And then you have this whole this one was a little hard to line up because it's one piece that goes here And then basically you have to line it up with uh, this here the port and Don't mess it up, uh, but you do have two chances to do this and then you have the other decal here those two here and on the tail fin here uh, looks really good uh new headlights a little golden you know never hurts anybody uh you have the head sticking out in, on, the, on the back uh you don't have license plate you do have a uh, brake light but it's kind of yellow instead of red so and there was nothing for here i mean i looked and if i missed it it's i'd be really surprised but would have loved to see some, I don't know, yellow, red. It's already red, so I guess it doesn't really matter. But could have used a little something. And what else do we have? Oh, yeah. Right here on both sides, you have these uh, decals. Which, you know, it's you can see that there's a cross pattern to it. And uh, Toy Hacks does, you know, put it in a very uh, perfect cross to line up with these marks. It's kind of hard to do inside there. Uh, maybe there's a tool that you know, allows you to perfectly place it, but I don't have it, so I'm satisfied with uh, with this. So. Just looking if there's anything else I miss. I don't think so. No, that's pretty much it. So there you go, guys. Uh, final look at Elita One uh, with uh, the Toy Hanks decal. It's really an impressive set. I like. I prefer the enhancement on the robot mode. Uh, especially the abdomen, the crotch area, uh, lots of details there, forearms and everything. It looks fantastic. And the gun is a big bonus. Uh, for the price of the set, uh, yeah, totally worth it. And uh, it just, you know, now she has three guns. So. And I usually don't s store accessories. If I don't use them, I always find a place for them. So maybe I'll find a, a place for these uh these uh, clear guns, even if they're not my favorite, but and they look fine. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this review. If you did, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Also, leave a comment. I love reading those. Keep coming back. I have more on the way. And remember, nothing in life gives the right to be an asshole. Take care.